Hey guys, I just want to hop on here and talk about my experience with Kim West's um, IBD intensive that is meant for Crohn's and colitis patients who are lost in their diagnosis, not finding it easy to accept, um, and just working through the emotional side as well as the physical side of their newly diagnosed disease or searching for how to cope with years of a diagnosis. Um, I was very fortunate to find Kim very early in my diagnosis process. I was diagnosed in February of 2020, so right before the pandemic hit in the States. And I found her through social media and we started talking and she just was really supportive of me and my journey and helping me kind of figure out what was going on with my new life. Um, and after getting to know her and talk to her, she was talking about something and her intensive came up and she said would this be something that you are interested in and I flat out told her you know I'm skeptical I don't know that these healing practices that you're talking about would really help me um I don't really know a lot about essential oils the breathing practices meditation it's not really what I was about at that time and I really I was really just at the point where I was so down so defeated um really giving my life to my Crohn's and not ruling over like I was letting my disease own me rather than me owning my disease and I was just I was in this depressed state um really just felt like my life was over and you know I, I talked to Kim I told her my my um my skepticism and we talked about it and she said you know what it's, it's up to you if you're going to do it. And I said, you know what? I'll do it. I'll keep an open mind. I'm going to do it because at this point, I just need something to help me. And my very first journal entry for our intensive, um, we were asked to write about our fears about healing. And I said, I have a fear of not being consistent. That even though I take eight pills every morning, I'm not getting any better. And that my body hates me. And... um. That was six months ago. Sorry, I just had to pause. Um, I knew I was gonna read that sentence out loud, but I hadn't read it out loud yet until the video. Um, I read that six months ago, almost exactly six months ago. It is dated June 22nd, which is the day after my 20th birthday. Um, wow, yeah. Like I said, I, I was really struggling at that time. Um, and looking at it now, I own it. Like, the, the Crohn's, it's got nothing on me. I mean, some days it does. Like, I still have my bad days. But through the intensive and learning how to breathe and the yoga practices and just learning how to listen to my body and know, um, like, how to treat different things like my cramps or... Um, watching what I eat and being more cautious about listening to my body and what my body tells me has really helped me get to a better place mentally and physically like um through Kim's intensive I had blood work done the week before we started and my inflammation was through the roof higher than it had ever been and then at the end of the intensive I had another set of blood work done it just happened to be that way and it was normal and then I had a colonoscopy and I had reversed erosion and no longer had 13 ulcers. Um, and that was just within two month stint of this intensive. Looking at it three months out, um, I was still, three months ago, I was still working on the practices. I love our Darth Vader breasts, um, which if you do the intensive, you will learn about. They're my favorite thing. And I call them throwaway breasts. And you basically stand up and then you breathe out and just throw your body forward. And those really have helped me just in really stressful times. Um, but as I've continued to do these practices, I've seen a difference in my mental and physical strength and health. And I'm so thankful for the opportunity that Kim gave me to, um, to learn these and really take my life back. And if it weren't for the intensive, I don't think that I would be where I am right now. Um, I probably actually would have dropped out 
of college and taking a gap semester to try to figure out my health. Um, yeah, this is <laughs> saying all this out loud. It's really, it's, it's, it hits, but at the end of the intensive, we write, we wrote a letter to our future selves and, um, I didn't read this. Um, I haven't read it since I wrote it until right now. And I wrote, Dear Caitlin, the year is 2025. I'm 25 years old. I would love you to know that you're so loved and strong. I would love for you to know that things get better. At every rough point, there's always a major bright side that happens after. I would love for you to see the world and enjoy all the trips I have in your, all the trips I have planned for you in your current life, like Australia and the Yosemite. Um, I've actually gotten to go some really cool places. At the time that that was written, I couldn't travel because um, I was so anxious about my Crohn's flare-ups and being able to eat and just the, the anxiety that comes with travel and IBD. And since the intensive, I've gotten that back and I travel to see my long distance boyfriend all the time. I travel for track and field. Um, I'm able to go to practice. I wasn't able to go to practice before. So yeah, if you're considering this um, intensive or if Kim's talking to you about the possibility, I highly recommend it. Like I would not be where I am today. I would not have gotten my life back if it were not for Kim and for that journey. And um, I will forever cherish it. And it makes you really emotional. But um, yeah, so good luck, guys. Even if you don't do the intensive, good luck on your journey. I love all of you. Even if I don't know you, I'm sending you good vibes. So bye.